Now let's talk about a magnetic induction due to long solenoid carrying current. What will be solenoid? Solenoid is nothing but a rotation based kind of they will produce a magnetic field if there is a current passed. Now let's see, let us consider an infinitely long solenoid having n turns, 1, 2, 3 n turns per unit length carrying a current of I. For such an ideal solenoid whose length is very, it's really large when compared to its radius. The magnetic field outside the solenoid is zero. A long solenoid appears like a long cylindrical metal sheet. This is a solenoid. The upper view of the solenoid is a dot which is, which is carrying a uniform current sheet coming out of the plane of the paper. The lower row is a crosses and is like a uniform current sheet going into the plane of the paper. So it indicates coming out of the plane of the paper and it in indicates going into the plane of the paper. To find the magnetic induction B at a point P or at a point inside the solenoid, let us consider a rectangular amperian loop like ABCD. The line integral B vector dot DL vector for the loop A, B, C, D is the sum of the four integrals AB, BC, CD and DA. You are able to see the manipulation here. B vector dot DL vector is equal to A to B a to B of B vector or DL vector, the magnetic field of your CB, C to B or B to C as B vector or DL vector and from C to D which is here and from D to A which is given here. If L is the length of the loop, the first integral on the right side is B into L. The second and fourth integrals are equal to 0. Because the B vector is at right angle for every element DL along the path. Whereas the third vector is outside the solenoid, which is also zero. So the total mathematical so magnetic induction is B vector or DL vector is equal to BL, which is the integral value of your A to B, B vector dot DL vector. Since the path of integration includes n into l terms, the net current enclosed by the closed loop is i0 equal to i into nl. So based on the amperes, the circuital law, you got b vector or dl vector is equal to mu0 into i0. Substituting your i0 with i into nl, you got B into L is equal to mu naught into I into NL. So removing L and L here you got B is equal to mu naught into N into I. If we talk about the usage of solenoid, the solenoid is commonly used to obtain uniform magnetic field. Now let's see an interesting area that's uh, if you are trying to put your soft iron core inside the solenoid, this is your iron core. A large magnetic field is produced B equal to mu into Ni. As we know, the relative permeability mu is equal to mu naught into mu r. So substituting mu by mu naught into mu r, you call B is equal to 
mu naught into mu na mu r into n i. When a current carrying solenoid is a finely suspended, so if you are trying to suspend it, the solenoid, it comes to rest like a suspended bar magnet, pointing out north and south. The magnetic polarity of the current carrying solenoid is given by one of the fantastic rule that's n rule. When looking from one end, if the current of the solenoid is along a clockwise direction, the nearer end corresponds to the south pole and the other end is the north pole. If it is clockwise direction, the nearer end is the south pole and the farther end is the north pole. So this is referred to as the N rule. So, if we talk about uh, the N rule with uh, anti-clockwise direction, when look from one end, if the current through the solenoid is along anti-clockwise, obviously the near end is the north pole and the other end is the south pole. This is referred to as N rule. 